Hello everybody and thank you for watching my video. Today I have decided on a Tuesday to make myself a little treat. And the treat I am making is a proper lamb souvla kebab. So I thought I will video what I do, how I do it, and put it on my YouTube channel. And I hope you enjoy how to make what I call my perfect souvla. So the first thing I'm doing while my lamb is just defrosting there, is I'm making a nice salad. And the salad, as you can see here, is all nicely diced up. And we're just gonna be adding some more ingredients into that in a moment. The ingredients we're gonna be doing is um, of usual, your tomatoes, different lettuces, um, onions, lemon, um, and the most important thing is herbs. Herbs is a very, very important part of making for me any salad because it gives it some nice flavors and what we're going to do can you pass me hello can you pass me the Greek yogurt please okay. now I also do cook even though I'm making a silver kebab I do actually use Greek yogurt at the same time I use this one it's fantastic and when you put that and you marinate that into your kebab and what we're doing today I usually cook it on the air fryer but today oh can I have some onions please can I have an onion? yep. but today instead of having cooking on a uh, instead of cooking today in the air fryer I is that all? Where's the word white man in it? Instead of cooking in the air fryer, what I'm actually doing is we're using red onion here as well, by the way. That gives really nice colour into the onion, into the salad. Um, we like to put all this in, and it lemon juice, thank you, lemon juice is very important and we're not putting any feta cheese in today because I don't, I'm trying to cut out the old cheese and what I'm doing here is now putting all my onions into my salad and I'm now going to change my knife for a much sharper knife A, a much sharper knife, much easier to cut the onion. And what we're going to do is really peel that, which is very simple to do. And the easiest way I do it is if you just snip it down the side, so you're trying to pull it all the thing, and next thing you know, all your skin of your onion is off reasonably quickly. Hopefully, there you are, it's all coming off. And then we just give that a quick wig under the water and throw the rest of those bits and pieces on in the dustbin, which I'm going to do now. And then I'm just going to give that onion a little quick rinse. Now, while this is all going along, I'm actually have a barbecue actually going down outside and that will be getting nice and hot and we're going to be cooking and prepping some nice wonderful kebabs very simple very easy to make and taste absolutely delicious and we're just cutting our onions up here it doesn't take long to put the old charcoal on I'm just doing this now and I'm just cooking Now, normally I've got the wifey doing the cooking, but today I have decided I'm going to do it. I'm just going to throw all that onion into the salad. Wonderful. And that's the salad. The onions are a bit big, but I like it chunky. And then what we do is we put some oregano in. We 
we put some thyme into the, we haven't got any fresh thyme at the moment, we run out. And also salt. A couple of spoonfuls of salt, and then we mix all that in together. And then once that's all mixed, what we do, we get some lemon. Lemon is the most important thing, as far as I'm concerned, into my salad, because it gives a nice flavor, and it gives a nice citrus flavor when you actually cook that, on, so when you actually put it into the kebab. And then we put a very, very small drizzle of olive oil. I mean, very, very, very small just to make it a little bit more softer. And I shall get my spoon, and now we shall give it all a mix up. Put a little bit of black pepper in. And that does not take too long. And here we have a perfect salad. If anybody can see that, I'll just go here. A perfect salad, uh, there you are, for a wonderful Greek kebab. Well, I think it's a Greek kebab, and I think it's really nice. The next bit we're going to do now is we're going to do the lamb. So, here I've got the lamb, for which I'm now going to, till being just defrosted, bear in mind, this is only for me, and I'm just going to cook this for a quick lunch, and we're going to peel that bag off, and we are now going to seal that down. I'm going to give that a quick rinse. Do you know what Always wash your hand to make sure it's perfectly cooked. And then once I've cooked, once I've done that, I get lots of kitchen towel because we dry the meat first. Always make sure your lamb is dry because it always gives a much better flavour and the, all the herbs and everything else stick to the meat much, much better. I'm going to get another bit of kitchen towel. And here we go here. Just taking all this off here. That's a bit, nice bit of fat. And I'm going to give that a bit of a clean. And now, that lamb is all nice and tidy and clean. And what we're going to do now is we're going to cut that in two chunks. So, nice big chunks. As so. And then what we do is we just cube them. Very, very simple. Make them nice sized cubes for the kebab. Now I like a nice big meaty cube. I don't like to have little cubes. I like to have it nice and chunky because then it gives a real flavor on the meat and everything else. So I throw all these in a soap. Cut that one down because it's a bit too big. And once we've finished cutting our lamb into wonderful skewers, they all look like that. If anybody can have a look at that, you can see. 
okay and that's the lamb it's wonderful now what I do the first thing I do I cut some lemon because lemon on the meat before you cook it is always fantastic and what I do now we squeeze some nice fresh lemon onto my lamb and now we use as I mentioned before the Greek yogurt now when you cook with the Greek yogurt and you stick on it gives a nice density to the meat you know you don't have we just use a spoonful, about that much. And we put that into the kebab. And what we do now, we now get another spoon and we start to mix the, the yogurt. thoroughly on the kebab. And if anybody likes a Greek kebab, which is slightly different, I think, to a Turkish kebab. It has a slightly different flavour. So all your meat is now thoroughly, thoroughly covered with your yoghurt. Once we've done that, we use some salt. Now, we use theme. 